Hello, class here, cross code. In the last part, I got repeatedly murdered by a boss. In this part, trying to get more arena coins again. Um, so I guess I'll start with where I've left the most coins on the table, which is uh, the bosses I haven't done yet. Too bad I don't remember what these boss fights were like at all. I'm sure that would help. Alright, what a surprise. Uh, lightning enemies weak to wave. Oh wait, I should like, use techniques. Alright. Okay. That's not even wave. I like that each of these phases is getting one cycled once we get the break. Ow. All right. Uh, what? Oh, it has to be this one. I wonder if it's the same one every time, or if it'll be random, where the extra little bits of wall appear. Oh, silver. I was thinking we'd probably want to run it back. Well, I knew how to fight the boss, but that's already a silver. Next round. The Mighty Blob. Alright. The real fight starts here, I guess. Ow. Wait, those things weren't even raised. And I can raise the break meter just by hitting normally. Okay. There we go. Ooh, that explodes pretty big. So I wonder if hitting it with that, no, okay. It doesn't do anything unless it's ready to be broken by it. Oh, it's got some sort of deflector shield now. But how do I raise the, oh, there are buttons in the corners, okay. Um, I guess I should have done it like this. No, because there are things that the... How do you get the angles you need? Oh, by bouncing it off the wall. Okay. We're learning the fight. I'm just getting destroyed constantly. Although it doesn't actually deal that much damage.
Probably because I'm like so many levels above it at this point. how you're meant to avoid damage when you have to stand on the switch. I guess you just block. That could be it. what I was supposed to do there, but I guess that's why we're <laughs> probably gonna fight this boss twice. And also why I'm just tanking everything, because I'm figuring everything out. The puzzle aspects of this boss seem way harder than the previous, though. Because, yeah, it's, it's rotating in response to my position. Also, it interrupted me hitting the thing so many times, I didn't even get to see how that worked out. <laughs> Which has me thinking I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> If I get a bronze, we might never fight this boss again. <laughs> yeah, if I shoot at that sort of angle, it's really hard to actually hit the orb, or it's really hard to get to the button. This just doesn't feel intended. But what is intended? I haven't thought of any other ideas. Yeah, and that got deflected. He suddenly moved the shield even. Actually, did it grow? Not doing this. Boss is impossible. <laughs> Which also means I'm never getting to do the rush mode or the bosses below it, unfortunately. But we shouldn't have to, to get at least one equipment upgrade. Yeah, let's do this rush mode. There are a bunch of bronzes that might be improved. That was probably unnecessary, but... Right, this technique. Very good in arena mode.
You wanna like bonk on the wall or something so I can hit you in the back with fire? Yeah, or just stop and summon rocks, I guess. Right, this. I wonder if I can just... No. <laughs> of course. didn't have my element on. Whenever you jump up something, there's a bit of a moment where you're basically not moving horizontally. Oh! New record. Although I think I already had gold there, so it's just that I got a new record. Oh wait. They went in the air. doing seems to be incorrect, but also seems to be getting damage through. Oh, I was supposed to use the bubbles from that guy, I bet, to do something. Speaking of that guy... Okay, yeah, ice is correct. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Got him. I'm just hoping to average a silver, pretty much. remember this fight at all, besides that it'll soon be like chasing me around slowly in this area and I don't want to give it line of sight or something. Maybe a little line of sight is fine. Oh, it dashed into a wall. I mean, that's what I want it to do. Okay, when you shoot, it does that. Understood. Oh. The behavior appears to be a little different.
Beefy arms plant destroying me. Or at least preventing my thing from working. Ow. I feel like you're supposed to dodge the lightning by teleporting or something. Doing that well. This thing. So what are you even weak to? Wave? Whoa! Alright, parrying the roll is effective. Okay, and when he stands up for the sword swing, you also want to hit him. Got it. Oh. Don't be standing in the middle for that. That was not the guard button? And the elemental overloads get so close on so many of these. Ooh, gold! Plus 800 coins! So I only had a bronze there before. Oh wait, you have to like... Magnet the... The slime or something? Yeah. Uh, wait. I should deal with the things that I don't need to use the orbs on first. Right. Forgot that after breaking them, they still had another attack before you broke them again. One of those double break enemies. Oh wait, the, the manta is gonna need to be in the center. I was hoping I could finish the fight before the overload. But I guess that didn't happen. Oh yeah, an overload's a massive score penalty. I forgot about that. Oh. Oh wait, did you just change elements? Oh! That still hit me. Oh. You just died of that.
I think we could probably get a good rank out of that one. Oh, we did get a good rank out of that one. Alright, so 800 coins from improving a bronze to a gold. And however many coins the rush mode itself was worth. Um, 2,000. I do believe that's an equipment improvement. So the earmuffs, probably the torso equipment's the most important right now. Uh, killing dress. <laughs> oh, was it at the bottom right? There we go. Level 75 instead of 65 on that piece of equipment. Let's see. I'm also just curious. We did some arena. But uh, in the dungeon, how much XP are those crystal shard enemies worth? Oh, there's only one landmark, huh? One. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Uh, still might as well farm some focus shards while I'm here. Also, I'm kind of curious what the treasure chests in this area have. Maybe I should work on that. Oh, you might still be worth something. Twenty. Okay. So if we do need to force a level up, we could. Actually, I'm not that far from a level. I'm halfway. Most of that's, of course, what I already had, not what we just got. <laughs> okay, so there's a treasure up there. Requires the golden key, but I'm fairly certain I have that. Uh, Actually, speaking of keys... The path to the boss didn't use up our normal keys. Where in the dungeon did we need keys? Uh, let's see... Oh, right. Thief's key opens bronze chest. White key opens silver. Radiant key opens gold. Okay. So if I do get up there, I can open the chest. But how do you get up there? It doesn't even look like there's anything in any direction to jump from. We've been up there. It just required solving this. Can you walk on these weird arches? Even if you could. Where do you go? <laughs> Just looking for anywhere to get to a higher elevation. Okay, no secret jump point there. That's a little suspicious right there. You could make those two jumps. Man, I've always been terrible at these though.
Many open world chests have eluded me in Crossroad. Oh, there's somewhere to use a key. So it comes from the next screen over? Or no, that's to get there, isn't it? But once we got far enough in the dungeon, there was a, uh... A button for a shortcut here, and then... I don't think I've ever gone on that jump pad there. But I also don't see the way to get to it. I also wonder what all these materials are for. Maybe I should check the upper floor of... Oh, hey. Four moonstones. Um, check the upper floor of the item shop in Rhombus Square. Not just check the arena. Although, honestly, it's probably upgrades for if I'd gotten the previous equipment from the, uh, the regular trade shop. Oh, you have to stand there in order to access the key. If I remember how keys work. But it looks like you come down from that path over there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way to make that jump, right? I don't think any, like, dash arts actually help with the platforming in this game. I'd assume you just fall to the lower level as part of the art. Okay, yeah, no, no possibility of a wraparound jump there, I'm pretty sure. Jumps just don't go far enough. Maybe here, though? Uh, congratulations. I made it somewhere useless. I think if I could make it to the key spot, I'd also know how to make it to this, because I think you can make this jump, and this jump. It does feel like it comes from this screen, though. I much prefer the actual, like, dungeon puzzles required for advancement, where, like, all the elements are laid out clearly. <laughs> These sorts of puzzles just make me feel like I'm doing nothing for ten plus minutes. <laughs> just looking around for the thing I missed that's incredibly critical. I'd probably do more of them if I was off-camera, to be honest. Alright, I'm noticing if I could make it to this jump pad, it goes exactly where I want to go. But how do you make it up there? I don't think this jump's makeable. 
But there's clearly nothing on the other side to jump from either. Is there another jump pad somewhere to get to the first jump pad? Maybe I underestimate Lee's ability to jump. This is interesting about being able to get there, just... I'm not sure how it would even help if I did make those jumps again. Also, like, I bet my prize would just be some crafting materials that I need a bunch of other crafting materials to put together with to do anything useful at all. So those are at the same elevation. Okay. Maybe it does start on... No, wait, that's locked with the key. So it definitely doesn't start on the lower screen for getting to the left. At least not yet. Because we need to unlock the key. Maybe I should do this jumping puzzle again and see if I can... Oops. Oh, okay, you don't just go as fast as possible. Oh, the tree actually blocks you. <laughs> right. Just wanted to know if I could jump to that. And then, once I could, if these are crossable somehow. Yeah, I think there's no way you make the jump going around the tree. Uh, actually, the tree is a little bigger than I thought it was. Okay, let's just jump from down here. Yeah, not even close. Man. Oh, hey, I think I've uh, failed to do anything for more than 10 minutes. What a surprise trying to do one of those puzzles that I would fail to do anything for more than 10 minutes. <sighs> I guess let's head back to the arena next time. <laughs> Maybe I'll warp there. Actually, what else would I even try to do in the arena to get more stuff? Actually. Let's check here, in case there's equipment I can directly craft out of, like, strange shards and things. On the topmost floor. That requires the Hydra Fang. Yeah, everything's like, you've gotta have been following this pathway for a while. Oh wait, this is made directly out of stuff. Bit of a defense penalty compared to my existing stuff, though. Oh, just because it has no defense on it. Kind of makes sense for a weapon. Surprisingly, Cross Edge has 91 defense. Asteroid Chunks, Lapis Lazuli, Cone Seed, Meteor Chunk, Moon Chunk... Oh, that's made out of previous stuff. Singularity drill. Zero XP. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Oh, is that gonna be like item drops? Yeah, I could see this being useful if uh, I had any idea to where to get this stuff and then got it, and wanted to do even more farming. Very last straw hat.
Hmm, so there wasn't a lot of stuff that doesn't need a previous item. Like, all this stuff's crafted from previous equipment, except for, like, two? Yeah, here. Meteor trigger, and my weapons are fine. Asteroid belt, and I, uh... Just upgraded my body armor earlier. Also, negative elemental resistances, like, don't even seem like an upgrade. I guess it's got a lot of just standard defense. Oh, these moonwalkers, though. Ooh, 30 balance? Man, if only I had any idea where to find any of those... Uh, you know. <laughs> any of these. Because, yeah, these seem like a really fine upgrade over the arena shoes that I've got right now. I especially like the elemental resistances there. But yeah, Moonchunk, it's probably in one of those golden chests in the final area, honestly. <laughs> uh, salty grass. Said to collect the tears of those who didn't finish the track. Lapis Lazuli. Worm Band. Often used for underground music. <laughs> I got what you're joking about there. Don't worry. See, I guess maybe I should finish analysis on... Oh boy. Uh... Botanics. Strange shard, cone seed, antique ore. Yeah, if I finished analysis on all the final area things, maybe some of the materials would show up there. Also, isn't there a way to track... a trade thing? Oh, I'd probably have to find it in my trade encyclopedia. So the moonwalkers seem cool. All the other equipment here I'm less interested in. Also, it's been almost 40 minutes. Rhombus Square. Huh? Is this area not Rhombus Square? I didn't see anything that listed itself as level 75. Yes, you exist. Moonwalkers, Moonchunk, Lapis, yeah. See, do you have a name or anything? Just trade offers? Trader book. Do I have to actually do a trade with someone before the rest of their trades show up? Mistwalkers. Mystery grapes. But I want moonwalkers. Guess I'll just have to come back here whenever I want to double check the material list. I've gotten lapis lazulis before, so if I look through all my records, I might be able to find where they were, unless it just came from a chest. Salty grass, worm band, I don't know, maybe I look all this stuff up between videos, just for the sake of uh, maybe eventually completing the game. That would be cool. But I bet the moon chunk's in a chest somewhere. <laughs> you know, just feels like where it would be. Let's see, I guess I didn't actually do anything since the last save, but I'd rather save in Rhombus Square. 
So, uh, yeah. See ya.